yo, sun, moon, rising, north node, Leo folk, what's good? This is a monthly cycle reading, uh, new moon cycle reading, okay? okay? So yeah, we want to you know, make sure y'all got some spiritual focus. Remember, we're not just dealing with regular cards here, right? These ain't just regular cards. These cards are governed by the tree of life. Okay, this is the tree, basically this is a tree of life oracle. This is a, you know, an oracle system that is governed by the Sephiroth, right? Which speaks to the various spheres of reality, various spheres of everything. It's a cosmogram, right? And in that as well, as above so below, it speaks to the spirit of man, the various aspects of the spirit of man. So whenever we're doing Meduna Terra readings, we're not just doing readings, right? We are talking to God, okay? This is the language, we do the chair, tree of life. That's the language, right? We learn that in order to speak to God in this way, okay? All right, so just saying that to let you know, this is important, right? Any, any reading that you get from these cards, because it's speaking to an aspect of your spirit, right? All of these are various aspects of what makes up your being, right? then this is going to be spiritual counsel, period, okay? And again, how are we going to, going to deal with whatever we get is we deal with the mantras, okay? We got mantras that apply to the various aspects of our spirit, right? So when we get a reading, right, we're going to look at the Madhu, you know, make an assessment of the situation, and get into meditation, chant the, chant the mantras, <clears throat> and let that spirit work. It's understanding on us. That's how we do this. That's how that's how this works. <clears throat> you know, the Dunitaire is a meditation oracle. It is very imperative to be proficient in meditation when you're dealing with the you know? It's a good way to learn how to meditate and get involved, right? But you will find that when you chant the different mantras to awaken the various aspects of your spirit, you find all, all kinds of stuff going on. Right? You'll get to meet various aspects of yourself and have, you know, like wondrous experiences, right? Divine experiences dealing with your faculties, right? So, you know, that's where we at. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and tap in. <clears throat> My Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Moon, Leo. Seker to Chaks. I rarely do I go to the bottom. I went straight to the bottom. Uh, second to Chas. Chas, Alright. So these are two energies that have similarities, you know. These are similar energies. And you have to be careful because alright, so Leo is the sun, right? Leo's the sun is all about vitality. <clears throat> Whenever you see Nekabet, you're talking about something that gives a hit to the vitality. Something that comes in depresses the light, right? Um, you know, and Seker is of that same energy, okay? So it's like, you know, Seker is far back, it's laid back, it's chill, you know what I'm saying? You know, where Heru is up, Heru is vital, Heru is like, let's go, let's do it, you know, we don't focus, you know, we don't go, right? <clears throat> so Seker to Chas means waiting, right? You're going to be waiting for something. <clears throat> something you're dealing with, this cycle, causes you to pause your go forward. Right? You, 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 you want to go forward, you want to make a move. It's the same to wait. Nekabet Hetep. Now, Nekabet Hetep could be a few different things. That could be a, make a, perhaps you might get sick. Right? This might be sickness on the table. Right? This could be spell work on the table. Right? This could be, you know, psychic workings. Right? Sub subliminal workings, psychic manifestations. Right? 
This could be some level of depression, things like this that c could actually sit on your being, right? So you gotta, you know, really you know, understand what that is. Right? But ultimately, <clears throat> what I'm seeing here is you're waiting for something, and you know, if you are doing these meditations, right? If you are, you know, if you go ahead and get in a Tawi link and get your Sekhar mantra in your Nekebet, which would be the Amen mantra, right? Uh, you know, basically be the Amen mantra. Uh, if you are doing those meditations, what it's going to do is it's, it's going to produce within you a chill disposition, right? It's going to produce with, within you patience, the ability to wait for something, right? You know, maybe, you, maybe you're expecting something, you're waiting on it. Maybe, you know, something is, you know, going to come through, so you're waiting for it. Alright? <clears throat> Again, neck and bed also, you want to focus on your vitality. You know? Again, neck and bed is the energy that depresses the sun. So make sure that you are not dwelling in depression or dwelling in a depressed energy state. Right? You know, um, you know, you, you know, you, you come home and you know, usually you up for a couple hours, you're doing stuff, now you just want to go to bed, go to sleep. You wake up in the morning, you don't want to get up, you're still feeling, you know, like you got uh, you know, like you still want to sleep. <clears throat> stuff like that. That's vitality stuff. So continue to do your exercises. Continue to do your yoga, your life force building exercises. Right? Every time you do that, neck of, every time you see neck and bed, you, know, you need to, it's a harmony thing you need to do. Because the other side of neck and bed is YJ. Right? You want them to be like this, not like this. Right? So you bring them to balance by you know, yoga, by meditation, breathing. Breathing work harmonizes your you know, YJ neck and bed. Okay. Alright, but ultimately, this is, you know, you're waiting for something, you're staying low key, right? And you're doing your vitality work, right? Okay. Let's see what the EK must say. Straight. Straight. Straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, straight. Straight. Straight, straight. Okay, that's the hexagram one. Straight up. Hexagram one. The creative. Okay, this is a powerful hexagram. This is probably one of the most powerful hexagrams. Right. This is the all yang energy. Right. The first hexagram. Right? So this is all about the heat, the fire, the hot. This is all about the ruler, the leader, the father, the you know whoever is leading was in the front who's leading. Right? States of aggression, etc. You know everything is even. There's no stress lines. Right? <clears throat> so yeah, especially with neck and bed on the table, you want to make sure you're doing your vitality work. Like I said, get your chi gong on. Right? Get your your aerobic exercises on, right? You know, again, you're breathing, and right? you're doing things to harmonize your life force. Okay, right? You have the power to do stuff, right? But you have to be wise about it. You have to be wise, and you have to be calculated. You can't just rush in. You have to be calculated. You have to be planning. Yeah, whatever you want to do, you have to really plan it out, right? And, you know, there's a level of internal power that you can bring to it. You have the ability to bring some, some of your own life force to this thing, whatever it is, right? And, you know, use that to make it work, okay? All right, again, whatever we see in the e King readings or in the Tarot readings, we're going to harmonize by doing our meditations via the Madhu for the Madhu Okay? Right? So you're going to be doing your Sekhar work, your Sekhar mantras, your Nekebet, Amen mantras. Okay? Let's get into the Tarot real quick, see what we're talking about. Okay?
Okay. Here we have the King of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. King of Cups, Queen of Swords. So, King of Cups normally is a you know, upright fellow, very moral character. You know, this person is an enlightened individual who is helping others to be enlightened as well. But in reverse, this guy is going to be some level of trickster. <clears throat> He's going to be, you know not so sincere, right? He's going to be the type that sows illusions, right? Shows you one thing, but really he got his real hand back here, right? He's going to be a bit of a uh, sneaky guy, sneaky individual, this King of Cups on the upside there, right? And this Queen of Wands, I mean Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, she got the truth. This is what we know about her. She, in the upright, she has the truth. She is not afraid to tell you about it. And she's going to tell you with some force, too. All right? Now, in the reverse, <clears throat> she's still going to be, because she's still got her sword. <laughs> she's just holding it upside down. So she's still going to be, you know, coming with the heat. Right? But she might not be dealing with the truth. Right? So that may, you know, somewhere, this, this here combination... This is a shysty combination here. These are shysters here. Right? Could be a couple. Could be a man and a woman. Who is shysty. Right? They got a funny shysty plan. <coughs> Pardon me. They got a funny way that they're dealing with things. Right? Everything is not on the table with these two. There's some underhandedness about this. Okay? Ultimately, though... This is not going to be of, you know, great, great consequence as long as you're doing your secular work and you're chanting to Amen. Because your Amen is going to, you know, keep you peaceful. Your secular is going to keep you stilled out, right? It's going to keep you sober, your focus, right? And the one is the power to do, right? At the one you have the power. So, you know, what happens with these other guys, you know, these guys here, you know, it's not going to be of much consequence if you're standing in your power, okay? Which is what you're counseled to do. <clears throat> the first hexagram is power. It's like a Heru hexagram. That's like, you know, count on your own uh, energy for leadership, right? Count on your own leadership, right? And, you know, again, you're going to be, you know, with your secor, you're going to be trying to develop some patience because there's a circumstance that's just, you know, you're going to need to be on point, right? So get your patience on, right? Get your stillness on, right? You know, don't be depressed. Get your life force up, right? And deal with whatever circumstance you got, right? That's what's going zone, okay? All right, my Libras, I mean, my Libras, my Leos, this is you, all right? With that, we're going to say peace and love. We're going to do it again.